Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. Runs 42. Can't wait for the day when this game gets more updates. Uh, yesterday we played as the Jester and the Barbarian. Well, yesterday, as far as recording goes. Today, we're gonna be playing. I'm gonna play as the Dragoon. I've been wanting to play as the Dragoon lately. And I've been passing up on the Dragoon for other characters and other archetypes. But I really want to play as the Dragoon. What did we get as far as equipment goes? What the heck? Something activated. It said evil eye activated as soon as I joined and I don't have any like equipment. No, I have three keys. That's what we have. Um, Architress, thank you very much for the resub, by the way. Welcome. How you doing today? Kaka, have you been playing any Helldivers? Are you a part of the crowd? <laughs> Your hits from weapons always count as far range and close range. There are plenty of synergies we can do with this. There are plenty of ways that we can uh, not break the game, but have much more powerful runs by exploiting, well, there we go, by exploiting all of your attacks are close range, all of your attacks are far range equipment and perks. I am seeing that we have like, oh, it's, it must be my set piece that's doing this. I have like lethal hits. Hold on, I should actually look at my equipment. 20% lethal hit chance against dragons. Were we getting lethal hits? All enemies are considered dragons, there you go. Increased damage dealt to dragons, plus one suppression, lethal damage, 20%. So if, if we never change our equipment, we have a 20% chance of lethal hitting all enemies. Take a sip. You've been blessed by the fairy. Do I have like one, one life? On entering a floor, if you don't have a soul heart, get one. That's pretty good. I can accept that. We are a strength focused build. I'm just paying attention to the, to the stats of the character here. I don't know, rather I don't remember which Right, Q is bomb. I don't remember which uh, trees, which perks, which, uh, you know, dexterity or strength scaling have the best outcomes for things like all of your attacks are close range, all of your attacks are far range. I mean, immediately I'm like, okay, War Belt, that's a great synergy for us, isn't it? Increased damage at close range and then ruthless chance at close range, close range is all the time. And notice it says your hits from weapons, not Melee weapons, not ranged weapons. All hits. What's with the the ruler? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. All hits are going to be uh, more damage. Maybe that's what it is. Close range. That might be the close range symbol. Because it is a ruler, after all, or at least it looks like a ruler. Hmm, weird. But we don't have any money, so I'm gonna skip the shop, which I imagine gives us wreaths. And instead, you know what, let's go for that blood chest instead of beef. We lose that on one stat point, but we'll gain whatever the heck this thing gives us. I love seeing a lot of symbols. God, that takes so long. 5% increased movement speed. Okay, I regret everything. Would have preferred the plus one strength than a charm that I will probably sell later on. So yeah, 20% bonus damage at close range. That must be the ruler. We always hit at close range because... Hey, Evil Oak, is that a Pokemon reference? We're always at close range. If we find the other piece of the armor set, I would be very happy about that because we could get... Uh, uh, it's not double damage, it's ruthless hits, which have doubled top end damage of the weapon. And we can build around that kind of stuff, add crushing hit chance to that. We're freaking, uh, we're gonna be crushing it. Increase thrusting damage to melee attacks, spiked shield. Cycles through repeating sequence of buffs, increase melee damage, intelligence grants attack speed buff. Well, I don't really want to get rid of the armor, so I'll go for the simple charm. It's an early floor. It doesn't matter what the loot is. Hmm. Mason says the silver enemies look like burritos. I didn't notice. 
then again, I'm also not hungry. Um, maybe, maybe you could use like a little bit of a snack, you know, uh, grab a, grab a, a Snickers or is it grab a Twix? I forget. <laughs> Booze or strength, this will level us up. Uh, I would like to get the perk that is two-handed weapons are one-handed weapons? Hmm, maybe not. Would it matter? I, I guess we could, could hold an offhand equipment. We'll see. Power? Morale. Dude, morale is very good. Increased melee attack speed is also pretty good, but I'm going raised morale. There's also a synergy there with the, ooh, rare weapons, with the plus power per actor and then the thing that gave you plus two companions. But I like what we have right now. 100% lethal hit against bosses. Mm, damage is a little lower. So it's a more of a side grade than anything else. The Draco Spear, we could probably, you know, change for anything. Winged Axes, Tailwind when both axes hit. It's an attack, movement, and orbital speed buff. Beetle Wand is just a magic wand. Super Effective Damage Multiplier. Floor two, Rare Armory. Well, this is the, is this the Backup Armory? No, Backup Armory is floor three, isn't it? Mason says, I got a Hershey's pancake thing. Connie says, Mars Corporation appreciates her patronage. Mars Corporation appreciates your, demo your democratic patronage. Increased orbital speed, brutal galactic Bible. I mean, the damage is actually like really good. Theoretically, um, but also like none of this equipment actually matters. Let's be honest. Yeah, the damage from this is pretty good. It's also very fire and forget, because we don't have to actually aim it. It's also super effective. I guess Bibles are good. I had to think about it for a second. Of course, Bibles are gonna be good against the undead. <laughs> intelligence also grants critical hit multiplier. Okay, a lot of intelligence granting X on this run. Magic weapon or a shop, but go to the shop, it's early. Clown suit, Buddha. Movement speed while having a shrine effect. Okay. Radiant damage to melee attacks, offhand torch. That seems real good. Hmm. It's too expensive, never mind. I mean, all of this is too expensive. Literally, I could if I wanted to get the clown suit, but. I guess we don't care about the armor set too much. It's not that much value, but we're also, n well, we do have raised morale. We could theoretically roll a power build with the clown suit. The AOE explosion would be increased thanks to the benefits of having power, right? not gonna do it. I've done it before. I feel like I, I would prefer to have the equipment that gives you... Super, is this still super effective? No. I would prefer to have the equipment that gives you the... I should just stab him. This fight's taking a while. Excuse me, sorry, coming through. I can't talk right now. Letting my orbital do its thing. I'd prefer to have the equipment that gives you periodically trigger your on damage taking effect first, then get the clown suit. That's what I'm trying to say. Breaks on taking damage, plus two block, radiator shield, gladiator shields, excuse me. Star talisman, mana flux, grants increased primary attack damage with mana draining weapon. plus four seconds of duration to Mana Flux. These are all pretty bad, but I guess I will take 
the lantern for now. And are we gonna go to a law shop? Sure, we haven't fought law boss. Maybe I can actually spend enough souls to get to the point where we can fight that boss for real. Can I buy another one? I can. I feel like the law shop tends to have a lot of charms. Maybe there is something to that. Maybe there's something to that. Maybe, uh, what's, well, what's, what do you get from the evil shops? I guess just like damage increasers and when you're evil, something happens. A lot of those, I feel. I'll take the gold. The gold. Can't see anything. I can't, like, the projectiles are too slow. Thank you. Man, I need a new, new weapon. <laughs> Grants three to four random dice. You know what, I'm going, I'm going dice build. I haven't had a good dice run, I feel. Man, I hate it when enemies have armor. Makes it so hard to actually kill them. Yo, the AOE on that is insane. Re increase damage dealt to bosses, reduce damage dealt to non-bosses. A five room attunement. That's absurd. Milt Thompson, Thompson says, mana flux is stupid good if you can generate mana stars. I've done that before to mixed effect. It was never like an amazing synergy, but I don't think I had all of the pieces of the mana flux generating set together, you know? I think I would like to try that at some point in a little bit more, uh, more attempts. Holy water on consumption, flask recharge, blow things up, it costs souls, can't do that. I'm gonna sell you my garbage. I will, um, sell you this just to free up some space. What do we have? Poison duration, mana stars, damage dealt to bosses, melee critical hit chance. I would like to do a melee build, I think, but we just need more equipment. One golden dice. Golden, well, one golden die. I'm very much in the camp of calling a singular die a dice. It just sounds better. Even if it's not grammatically correct, depending on where you're from common enough in video games. The reason why they do that is so that they don't have to program in, you know, seconds versus second. That's why you always see one seconds. Increased stats granted by mana to mana draining weapons, one dexterity. I would probably buy both of those. Inflicts bleed. Actually, I like that. I like bleed. Primary attack spins a flail that deals 4,000 striking damage. What? It is incredibly slow, but it hits like a goddamn truck. I mean, I have to. Good Lord. Good Lord, what is happening in there? You know what, I will sell my spear. All right, I still have the Bible if I want to. And he says, I like how the volume sliders and hell divers goes up to 11. Yes, they do. Seems like this thing has a hard time uh, changing its aim. All these bees have armor? Why are there armored bees, you know? Bear Pelt Hood, plus five strength. Each point of strength additionally grants crushing hit chances. I'm just gonna go for the key. I mean, this is basically what I want. I want this thing to one-shot everything, except for the bees, apparently. It's just super slow, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? It's kind of fun, I like it.
Actually, the range is kind of absurd on this. I love it. Okay, you're a monkey. Plus one luck and plus one curse. That's not bad. Summon or offhand. Give me a summon. My be friend. Oh, behave. I mean, considering the range, it's not gonna take long to kill you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess the idea is that if you if you walk clockwise around the enemies, it goes faster. Increased damage dealt per missing heart you have. Plus one stamina. Increased repeat damage. Increased movement speed. Honestly, I'm a horse main. I need that movement speed buff. By the way, Raw Egg, how are you doing today? Good to see ya. We can go Bratwurst. I can have negative intelligence. Ooh, much better. This level is way better than the last one, because there's not insanely armored enemies. Oh, I love coffee. When you deal a critical hit, gain Berserk, or a ruthless hit, gain Berserk. And this will theoretically be happening all the time if we can get the other part of the war belt, which is guaranteed ruthless hits. You gain no more stats from strength, but the penalties from exceeding your equip load are reversed. So we would get top end damage, critical hit chance, movement, stamina, mana, etc. Um, it says no more stats. That's incorrect. It's no stats. Uh, but I think I like berserking. We should get this pretty much all the time as soon as we hit uh, War Belt. But I gotta be honest, it doesn't really do that much right now. And it's only a 20% attack and move speed buff. That's good, but... I'm gonna reroll. Two companions. On dash trigger a goat. Plus 10 power per actor in the room. So this is 20% increased melee attack speed or 20 power, minimum 30 power. We already have solid power buffs, so more power is not necessarily the best. But also it's fun. Oh, because power is, I mean, power is power. But also, you know, maybe we'll maybe we're gonna get a rocket launcher. <laughs> Jin soaked boy, thank you very much for the resub. How you doing? Kaka, let's hear it for the kaka. This thing is a little hard to aim. Aim kaka, aim kaka, aim kaka. Says Milt Thompson. Oh, if only you were a subscriber. <laughs> I'm out of bombs, no! That's okay. One day I'll maybe even turn off the uh, sparkles around secret rooms and I'll have to fend for myself. Careful, careful, I accidentally changed weapons. Ryg says, what happened to LJ? LJ's still here, he's just, uh, he's taking a day off. What did I pick up? Ooh, Phoenix Feather. Revives you from death one time. Were you subbed earlier in chat? Asks Quark. Maybe it just ran out immediately. Also, Oh, there he is! Uh, Raw Egg, you have, uh, you have called the evil LJ into our presence. How could you? <laughs> Love it. Take this. 
Thank you. I'll upgrade it. Um. Okay. What's our current tipsiness? Three? You always start at three? Lucky hit chance, it adds one tipsiness, increased damage over time, or just damage. <laughs> We're doomed! Doomed! I overbuy beer early. You're probably gonna get a tavern by like level eight. Offhand or body armor? Give me another, uh, give me an offhand that's better than this weird lantern that I'm not using. Clonk. Clonk. Man, this thing is so slow. LJ's cousin does pop up sometimes in cursed runs in this game, says Milt Thompson. That is true. We get a little fake LJ. Increased primary attack damage. Lantern. Okay. Grants a serpent orbital that deals poison damage. Plus 20 power. Your percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to damage dealt by your companions or on dash. Spawn a mana star on you. So there's your mana buff. We could have like a mana build with on dash, summon a mana star, and then mana, 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 mana. I mean, yeah, seems pretty good. We don't have to build completely around mana right now, but there are, there's plenty of items and set pieces in the game that are beneficial when you're under the effects of mana flux. We can make something happen. I'm not gonna go to the armory. I think our weapons are actually okay. I wanna open the chest. <laughs> cursed hit chance, depending on how evil you are, your cursed hits are guaranteed critical hits, devil's cloak. Man, I do like the Devil's Cloak. It's a solid, a solid piece of equipment. We are a little bit evil anyways, we need to remove that. On non-triggered lucky hits, trigger a hammer. We don't really do hammers or crit hits that often. Weapon damage instead of attack speed? What's our current attack speed buff? It is 29%. So we would get a 58% damage buff. I'm gonna reroll. Mm, berserking again, but we don't even have that. Trigger your on dash effects every eight melee attacks. We're getting somewhere with that, but what about I do like Titan Grip. Two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed. We don't have a two-handed melee weapon. Booze is permanent and has doubled effect. That's a pretty solid one. Periodically trigger your on bomb effects and throw three grenades at the nearest enemy that explode every five seconds. Double stats from strength. I mean, we do have 15 strength, but also nine dexterity. I think, uh, I think booze effects is okay. Sure, why not? Not like, I'm not, this is not as synergistical as I wanted, but we're getting there. Hey, cool29, welcome. Tiny Abe's. Raw Egg says, hey Abe, have you played Baldur's Gate 3 or Resident Evil 4 Remake? No, however, I do plan on playing the Resident Evil 4 Remake, considering I have played Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, however, I haven't done so yet which is really just a matter of me being slightly slow in uh, getting those VODs up on YouTube, which I wanna do first. That way I'm not super, 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 super backed up. And then we'll definitely play some uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm, I really want to. I hear good things about it. And I had fun with the original Resident Evil 4. Additional intelligence pickups. Eh, why not?
Uh, Rag says, I did see you play Resident Evil 2 Remake when I played it at about the same time. That's a good reason to jump into it, I think. When uh, someone else is playing it and you kind of want to play along. Thieves Gloves. Okay, it's not what we're looking for. We don't need booze. Actually, we'll hold that in case we get cheese. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Well, hold on to this booze in case we get some cheese. Why is this thing having such a hard time aiming at him? Hit him! There you go. You only have to hit him like three times. You think this anchor would be easier to aim? I don't know why. Bloop, bloop. Cultist Hood. Increased effective buffs while missing at least one heart. The thing is, that seems really good with the fact that we have power, which is a buff, and booze, which is a buff, but I can never seem to make that actually work. Increased aura radius, the guardian shield. Yo, that seems pretty good if I had auras. Plus 20 power. I mean, if I can get the lantern, helmet lantern, I would do it. Boxing glove. The azure charm. The heart charm. And the tiger charm. Well, I can buy one thing. I will buy the heart charm. I can hold them both of these, never mind. Hey, Badbone8, thank you for the resubscription. Gaga! You're trying, Milt. <laughs> I can at least say you're trying. Never noticed the books have a buff when they're closed. I guess they're armored. Rare weapons or bombs? Well, I can't even go to the armory. I don't have any bombs, so we'll go for the bombs. <laughs> cool, thank you for the gift sub to Mil Thompson. There you go. Now they're now they're good. I thought they were subscribed too. If not today, maybe yesterday. I don't know, maybe it just rolled over. You know, March 1st and all that, or well, March 2nd today. Double the critical hit multiplier on repeat effects. Combat start, gain, battle rush. Increase stats from strength. Your critical hit chance is zero, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. Now we're talking, because our crit hit chance is, it's only 11%. Hmm. But I like it. I like it a lot. 4,600 to 9,000 striking damage. Uh, I do like it. Good old resolute technique build. Where have you been my life? My whole life, my entire life. Plus five strength. Yeah, why not? Cultist Hood, Devil Cloak. I kind of want to keep those in case I can make them make them work. Crit hit chance on Thieves Gloves. I guess we don't need this anymore. Uh, Mana Flux adds 25% to with mana draining weapons. I don't have one. I'm gonna get rid of the Bible. I might want to get rid of the Star Lantern too, because it doesn't do anything, but if I get a mana draining weapon, it will. And it's good for that purpose, so we'll keep it. Dragon Slayer chest or consumables? I would like some consumables, please. Up to 10,000 damage, that's a lot. Uh, 
baseball bat. 100% crushing hit chance with lucky hits. Again, with the surprising random weapons that are not applicable because I already have crushing hits. It happened previously too on a, on a run. Upgrade? Eh, we have the money. And I guess we'll go to the shrine. Yeah, sure. I don't like shrines, but maybe this will change my mind? Plus one luck in last 60 seconds. Like, what's the point? <laughs> it's so bad. Offhand or rare? Give me an offhand. Casey run. If only Casey was good in this game, but it ain't. You know what is good? The, uh... The anchor flail that definitely, definitely is 100% an Elden Ring reference. Ooh, increase attack while missing one heart and increase effective buff while missing one heart. We've got the synergy set. Increase companion attack speed. No. While you have dealt exactly four different elemental damage types in the past four seconds, you gain 100% increase effective ailments. Okay. On non-triggered triggered lucky hits, throw a syringe. That is really good, but we don't have that much luck. I guess we have 20% luck, but I mean... Okay, hold on. Um, Grants increase effect of buffs while missing at least one heart. We've got to try this. That's a hat. I thought that was armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, cultist hood, sure. Sure, why not? Metafusion says, my perf my favorite part about Tiny Rogues was when I was addicted to it and when I got the perfect setup for a weapon but never got the weapon or needed. But I, I kind of like that about this game because sure, you can have like synergies that you're building around, but they might not show up. And you gotta make it work regardless. I do like that. Yeah, we need to lose health. Um, I can get hit. That's not a hard thing. So let's do that. Let's go to the... Uh, I would like to have permanent potions if we can have double effects of potions. Let's uh let's do this. Okay. And then Now that's going to lower our morale for a while, but if we look, yeah, it's doubled the effect of power. And beer, I want to point this out, beer does not get flat doubled, okay? It was 60% previously because we have Boozer. It goes from 30 to 60, and then when we add another 100% on top of, on top of that, it goes to 90. All of, all, of the, the multi, all of the damage multipliers in the game, they're additive, not multiplicative with one another. So keep that in mind. These will also provide double effect. So we are very fast. Bam! Game seems a little loud to me. I'm gonna crank it down one notch, but I think it's just this level's music. So the power buff is nice. The speed buff is, I think, a little nicer right now. 1,000 damage, but uh, we've got this set of the cultist. We don't want to heal. We have increased primary attack damage, and we have plus one heart, and we have increased effective buffs. There you go. Th this basically pays for its own buff with the plus one HP, and it's actually the reason why I took this heart charm, by the way. So we are, we're doing all right. I do wish that the ice cream cones were not armored. <laughs> Rotwurst or key. How much intelligence do we have? Two. Look, we're not doing an intelligence build, but 
use it or lose it, right? Yeah, give me more dice. Why not? I like dice. I'm a dice man. That's a lot of dice. Plus one heart when bombed. I think that's very appropriate considering what we want to do here. That's a permanent... Oh, you son of a gun. That's a permanent heart container. I swapped, switched my weapons. Not ideal. Okay, heal up. Need to get that morale back, but I keep uh, keep getting hit, unfortunately. You know what? Fish and chips, I'll take it. I don't know what enemy does that attack of eight things around you that kind of like converge. I'm, I'm not really noticing it too much. It must be like a mage or something that I'm not seeing. All right, set item or magic weapon? You know, a magic weapon might not be that bad because we've got the mana boots and whatnot. But also, if we get the war boots, that's what we are actually looking for. There goes your armor. There goes like a 30 for your health. I did get hit there. The weird like... You are a dragon, you do just fire shots constantly. I need something with range. The weird uh, zigzag beams always get me. Mm -mm. When an orbital completes a full rotation, trigger your on dash effects or equip load. On dash effects. Well, I don't want to get rid of the cultist hood. I do need to heal at some point, but we have a. Uh, we have a Phoenix Feather we can just use. Or just one of those. Tailwind, increase movement speed. You know, for now, I'll keep it because we don't need the Mana Star. That's what I'll do. Increase damage dealt to the undead. Critical hit chance, increase damage on hits that trigger a mark. Increase damage per curse. No. We're already pure lawful. I know, I know I could heal. Or, I could get some bombs. Oh, I had no dashes left. I gotta, okay, don't die. I gotta get a weapon that is more controllable. This thing is too slow. So we will, we will work on that. I should have, should have healed, but I guess we do have the Phoenix Feather in our back pocket still. Uh, so let's go for the weapon. I need a weapon. It would also be easier if enemies didn't have armor, but even these dudes, they have like one armor, which completely negates one attack that you hit them with. Tempest fans. Ah, we can't use this. Can hit multiple times, also does a secondary attack that Grants Tailwind, deals cold damage. Mm. Might not be as effective as I want it to be. You know what, give me one of these. You know what, give me... You can go to the Petrified Horde. Although, oh God. What I would love is I wanna get HP, which you can probably get from a treasure not rock, not petrified a horde. Well, there goes that revive. Okay, you know what? I really, really, really need more HP and a better weapon. Halberd, please tell me you're a better weapon. can't use the Cultist Lantern, which is a massive debuff. Because all of our buffs go down. But it's just these, yeah. Whatever, get the, get the beef. Honestly.
It's so, so slow killing things. Yeah, give me the treasure rock. Hopefully the treasure rock just has health. At least I can like aim my shots a little bit here. Thanks, wonderful. Cursed obsidian chest or the blacksmith. Blacksmith is not gonna help me. Salad's not gonna help me. Another obsidian chest, beautiful. There's death. I think we killed death, because I think we killed him in one hit. Oh, uh, maybe not, I don't know. Melee weapon, yes, please. My life for a melee weapon. Also my life for higher. Dun, 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 dun. Excalibur? Primary attack deals slashing damage that does a secondary attack, evolves into true Excalibur at upgrade level four. Um. True Excalibur. All right, well that probably solves my damage problem. Or because I'm confused, didn't you get the offhand thing, Titan's Grasp? No, I took Resolute Technique and Boozer. All right, this seems okay. This seems way better than what we were dealing with previously. It's cheese! Thank you, cheese. I like that this thing is having uh, homing shots on it. Although hilariously, the damage is not that great compared at least to what we had previously with the, the weird flail, the super flail. But I do love that these things have basically unlimited range. Does take a long time to kill anything with it, but for now this is an okay weapon. I think this is a weapon that we would like to replace though at some point. Because it is very slow. Crushing hits grant bone splinters. We got it. Power also increases effective debuffs you inflict. No, we want bone splinters. Every hit's a crushing hit, so every hit will fire bone splinters. It's good. One stamina, one mana, one heart, armor of favor. Periodically intimidate all enemies in the room. That makes them take more damage. Honestly? Give me the sick armor. Hey, that Toggy, welcome. How are you doing today? Toggerific, hopefully. Got any souls? Petrified soul heart grants plus two soul hearts. Um. Let's keep going. I know I should probably heal, but I think our weapon is good enough now. That it's not just so slow. <laughs> This isn't even upgraded, but we do need to upgrade it uh, sooner rather than later. Epic weapons. Very Toggers today. Toggers! On entering a floor makes the, you yeah, know. Makes the rewards offered after defeating the boss offer an additional choice. Oh. Give me some weapons. Slow Moonshine Greatsword. Triggers a Moonbeam on draining half of a mana. Titan Sickle. Strength grants critical hit chance, which will never work. Or Metal Guitar. Each attack triggers a chain lightning. Um. Yeah, I mean, that seems real good because of the crushing hit. Yeah, that seems, seems pretty good. That's pretty solid. Molotov cocktail quad blasters. <laughs> now all of a sudden the game's giving me all the good weapons. Okay, dump the halberd, dump the legal anchor. We've got the dragon slayer bow. 100% lucky hit chance against dragons. That's when you would want to have your synergy. It's a huge bow. Um, oh, I can't have the lantern with the guitar. Slow brick. Quad. Blaster. Quad blaster. 
It's so much damage. It is an absurd amount of damage, realistically. I love it. Okay, I'll um, just take something to sell. And there is a pawn shop, so we're gonna be selling a lot of stuff. We're gonna sell this, we're gonna sell... We're gonna... We're gonna sell Merlin's boots, I think. No, we should keep Merlin's boots. We should equip Merlin's boots. I'll sell these. I'll sell this, 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 this. This, I'm gonna keep those three, okay. I'll take anything that's like rare. This one armor is good too, but I, I want to go to the pawn shop. I like pawn shops. Hundred and seventy-three gold. That's enough. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's a two-handed weapon, but you know what? I'll I'll accept it for now until we find a, a better synergy. I think. For bosses, I think that that uh, gun is gonna be amazing, though, because it does fire super quickly, and the diffusion damage is gonna be insanely high. Sheriff Belt, increase attack speed with guns and cannons. Honestly, no thank you. Ryag asks, hey Abe, for streaming, do you use a secondary monitor, or do you alt-tab? I have multiple monitors. The game is on one, and uh, Twitch is on the other one. Helps a lot. Very effective, you kind of need it. On dash, your next attack is a guaranteed lucky hit. Hmm. I will go to my beef. We have a lot of strength. I'm curious. Ooh, legendary item. This does scale with strength. The guns don't, which is a shame. Hmm. Because it doesn't scale, maybe the uh, gun is not as uh, important as I thought it would be. It's still good, but maybe we'll keep it for later. Plus three armor. Mm. Armor. Increased trigger damage. 100% increased trigger damage. Each attack also triggers a chain lightning. Hmm. That seems really good. Because <laughs> if the chain lightning is a trigger and it's doing most of the damage, each like double damage on this, it's not double damage, it's 100% damage on top of whatever your current buffs are, but it's still pretty good. Our power is currently 120. Ah, and if we do this, our power is now 200. You can see the, uh... How do I, how do we reset this? Why does it still say 220? You can see the, uh, the change though in power and how it kind of, uh, scales logarithmically, you know, there's a cap to it. Technically, there's not a cap, but it went from like 75 to 124% damage buff when we doubled our power. Right now, the UI does not show me the previous power numbers, but that's okay. So lots of armor. This gives us health, mana, and stamina, which is also good. We could reroll once, or we could take double trigger damage. But I want to have ruthless hits when we get the Warlord's Wake, whatever that, or the War Boots, which haven't shown up yet. I'm just gonna reroll. Intelligence 4, why are you a dummy? Who needs to be smart? While evil, your primary attacks inflict doom. Uh, negative three required? That would be nice, that would be nice. Increased effect of mana flux. Additionally grants 100 power. There's your flux combo synergy. There is a flux build in here, isn't there? Intelligence also grants increased effect of debuffs. I'm going for the gloves and hopefully we, we can become a little bit more evil. Evil, true evil. I 
we're okay. I don't think I need to heal quite yet. Potions are gold. Potions are gold. You know, I don't want to use my key on that, I don't think. And I don't even have any bombs to blow it up with. The guitar is pretty good, but it's a little slower than we would like right now. You know what I should do? Go to the damn tavern and spend my money. I have no bombs and I'm a scream. Death Sickles, 1% critical hit chance per soul you have, which doesn't apply. Archon Scepter, magical damage and grants a stack of Archon, grants three intelligence per stack. Hey, if I ever wanted to be smart. I can go up to 34 intelligence? This is a pretty cool weapon. because the buffs from it will affect things like mana regeneration stats gain from mana, damage multiplier from mana. It's a cool, cool weapon in theory. Shurikens and secondary attack deals poison. Puss spitter! That's nifty. Yeah, it would be a very good big int build, which I am not doing, obviously because I'm not a smart man. <laughs> Random potion or shop. Yes, please, shop me. Mana drain refund. I'll buy the mana flask, or the health flask, just to do that. Buy the meat, it levels us up, excellent. <laughs> nice choice. Has anyone seen Abe play a non-evil build? And if yes, when did you realize you were asleep, says the Nor. Welcome! I've, uh, I have done it. It has happened on occasion, randomly, sometimes. I don't remember when, but I'm sure I fought the, the Eden boss at some point in the past. Um, 29 strength, 12 dex. It's only giving us attack speed and movement speed buff. But I think I'd rather get a different perk. After not attacking, get a guaranteed critical hit with primary attacks. See, this I like because we can enter a boss fight and get just like 10 crits immediately on an enemy, which will do an absurd amount of damage because we have guaranteed crit hits on top of guaranteed crushing hits on top of guaranteed, well, they're not lethal hits, but maybe at some point. But I'm gonna reroll anyways. Two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed and allow wearing an offhand item. Two-handed melee weapons. It's an instrument weapon. Damn it. Could get B. Double strength, but... Maybe we'll find a new weapon. I'll take it. Gold and a black spell. Yeah, why not? We can upgrade. I might go for the chests now. Did just spend a lot of money upgrading my, my weapons here. Didn't upgrade the guns though, but I think with crushing hits, the metal guitar might be a little bit better. Gotcha. Jagged Sickles. Oh, good. I should probably spend souls. I'm gonna gain favor. Get a little bit more HP to keep the, uh, the buff active with the lantern. And let's get another legendary item, because why not? Not the most damage we've ever dealt. Oh, 
Pretty good, though. Let's see. Ten primary attack shoots missiles. Well, we're not getting anything out of the gloves right now, so I like it. Grants 5 to 1,000 lightning damage to melee and ranged weapons. If that's every shot does that, that's pretty good. We'd have to lose the hat, though, which means we would have to lose the effect of getting 100% increased effect of buffs, which means we would lose the doubled power and the doubled beer. We would go down to 80% and then 100 power. Hmm. It's a lot of lightning damage, though. So it's either insanely high damage rocket fists or lightning damage. I'll try the lightning damage for a minute. For a hot, fresh minute. I'm out of dice anyways. Um... Speaking of dice, we could re-roll. We could re-roll Titan Grip if we wanted to. Which I might want to do. Uh, we are lawful, so we're gonna go lawful door this time. I want to... Um... We still get the benefit of primary attack damage. It doesn't show up here. No, it does, right there. Five to one thousand damage modifiers. Plus ninety percent times one hundred and twenty-nine point oh oh percent. Now what those mean? Probably because we have various levels of buffs. Must be the power buff. Actually, we can... It's not a tune. Okay, whatever, just go fight. <laughs> I could not tell if we were getting the, the damage. Let's see. I guess we, we are getting the damage, the lightning damage. I'm seeing the, the lightning indicator above the enemy, I think. Increase attack speed and adds one tipsiness. You know? I'll take it. Increase attack speed is nice. Lucky hit chance, unnecessary, I think. It does seem like we're getting a lot of lightning effects, but I'm not seeing the lightning, like, damage indicator at all. I might just be missing it. I wouldn't say I was missing it. Or maybe, uh, maybe, like, the damage modifiers are just in the, the number. You know, they're not actually being represented at all. Random tomes. Increased damage with not random tomes. Honk. Let's see what we got. On dash, gain full stacks of Tailwind and trigger on combat start effects. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. These are terrible, but you know what? Um, I was just thinking about this. We could re-roll Titan Grip because we only have a one-handed weapon. Metafusion says Quad Blaster is the best weapon. They are pretty good. I should use them a little bit more. Since I'm not going to be using the uh, guitar at this point, I don't think. Should have upgraded them. Um, we're going to get rid of Titan's Grip. Power also affects debuffs. Okay, we're going to get this again. I need to become more evil. Goat Force! I mean, look, I'm just gonna re-roll it and get something maybe a little bit better. Less hammer on non-triggered lucky hits. Fire a hammer. Yeah, 
fine. Maybe it'll happen. Let's let's keep an eye out and see how many of those we're getting. Occasional hammers. I, I think I saw one. I don't think I saw one in this room. Ryg says, hey, when are you gonna replay getting over it? I'd rather not. I'm over it. <laughs> Magic weapon pair of gloves. Mm, sure. Get out of here, Gary. Whew. Got him. Actually, I think at close range, the Excalibur is better. I think you're scared of it. I'm scared of you, Warlock Staff. Necrosis. Harp. Big Chomper. It's twice. Beam Sword. Has a 30% chance on attack to shoot a beam that deals energy damage. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> um. Increase attack movement, orbital speed, last eight seconds. Should I get this? Hey Mason, thank you for the resub. This has been here for a while, it's annoying, so here, thank you. For how long you've been here? You're, you've only been subscribed for two months. That's a surprise, but I appreciate your support. Thank you. Bless and hammer. Would we rather have Tailwind on dash? I guess if it hits high-end damage, that is pr that is pretty good. Um, I see it. I have 55 souls. I gotta spend these souls at some point. Critical hit multiplier. Well, we're never critting, so let's ignore that. Global tally threshold requirements by one. Pretty sure I don't have any of those. On dash gain tailwind. You know, I have an idea. We're getting rid of raised morale. Why? Because you keep morale until you get hit, so now it's just a freebie. As long as we don't get hit, we'll never lose it. Big brain forehead energy there, but, you know, just hope for the best. On triggering any effect, gain drizzle. Increase stamina recovery speed and lasts four seconds. Okay. I guess we're going this way. Are we okay? I think we're okay. Booze or resin? Well, I have max booze, so I guess we'll go resin. A little bit of a buff for the upcoming fights is not a bad idea. I don't know where any enemy is. That was weird. Get the pine resin. Nature buff. Sure. Lucky hit chance or highest attribute. Don't we have some, we have hammers, right? So let's go for the lucky hit chance. Still cursed, by the way. We never, we never went to the tavern at all. I don't think. Maybe we went once. Should have gone to the tavern more. Echo shard summons a Veragul companion. Increased sound damage. Increased melee damage from the beetle armor. Grants two beetles. If only we had the uh, other power. Oh yeah, we do brawler. Well, we're already at max power buff anyways, basically. Laser rifle, each point of mana additionally grants a lucky hit chance to this weapon. Blacksmith's whetstone, and the trident, thrusting damage and hits three times. I mean, I like guns, but it has no strength scaling, so probably not. Dun, 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 Hey, 
Hey Harrison, welcome, are you winning? Hopefully. Abe, when was the last time you played Risk of Rain 2? I just talked about this the other day. Um, but I haven't played Risk of Rain 2 in a while, but I really want to play more of it when the next update comes out, because it's going to get another DLC at some point, isn't it? Oh good, more power. I think that that would be a really fun time to jump back into the game. Booze or a weapon? Give me a weapon, let's see what we can get. I have no key. I have no way of opening that. Never mind. I guess we'll gain favor. Let's get an absolute metric F ton of HP here. And let's fight the throne. And we still have our 10 morale, because we haven't gotten hit with those. Or by, with the weapons yet. I don't have to know where you are to shoot you. What's in, what's the nature buff do? Whoa! <laughs> Freaking jerk, you're, you're going too fast. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. That was a fun run. It, what, what was this run? Uh, we didn't really get the value of the class benefits. We didn't have close range, far ranged payouts or payoffs. We had the war belt and that was it. We didn't get the entire ruthless synergy that I wanted, but still, it was a good run. We had some good weapons show up. The anchor was a little bit slow once we hit like level six, but we random the Excalibur. I'm happy to see that. So thank you. Thank you game for giving me the RNG that I needed to win. Ding, 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 ding. And that's one more character completed in the game, known as Tiny Rose. I should really look at the uh, fireplace a little bit more because there are buffs, like have drinking flask time, which would actually be kind of nice. Blood chest and blood altars are more common. Yo, that's actually kind of fun. I, I might want to go into that path. Food rewards of the highest type. More influenced by the types of traits you already have. It's probably unnecessary. Super effective multiplier and reduce alignment requirements. Guaranteed secret room access and mimics are always in pairs. I love that one, because if you get the lucky early mimic that gives you a super good weapon, you're, uh, you're loving life. Stamina recovery reduction. I think we could probably get rid of this one. And World of Hurt seems fun. Level four blacksmith. With each consecutive item sold, you get more money. Weapons cost more or less gold. Items priced in gold has a chance to instead cost souls. When this occurs, the price is reduced, interesting. Equipment and weapon chests have a chance to contain additional items. Eh. Room, room rewards can be more likely to give you more rewards. So you could have uh, more gold show up, I think is the big one from safe bet. More dice, potentially. 20% chance of each room reward roll to roll maximum amount of rewards. Like, if it, but if a room drops one key, it's still gonna drop one key, right? It's not gonna drop, like, three keys, will it? That doesn't seem to be the case, I would assume. Dice rewards always grant additional dice. Ethereal, red, or golden. I do like my ethereal dice. That would be a good way of guaranteeing more opportunities to reroll perks. 
Tavern has more chances at black markets. Pawn shops are more likely to guarantee uh, on three, six, and nine. We could also do taverns or blacksmiths. Royal Armory, I like that one. Plus one reward. Suppression block and evasion protect you from taking damage. That has been changed. That used to not be the case. And I do like these to uh, really help you get a lot of rewards early. Secret rooms are highlighted, I like. Locked cellars never contain locked things. You know what, why don't we get rid of this and instead take ethereal dice rewards. That'll be fun. I like re-rolling rewards. Sounds good. All right. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch. Or when I go live, support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Tiny Roads.